Alright, we're shooting. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set, Callie. Huawei unleashes a mobile beast, Dave Powell launches a Kickstarter, and you need to help us choose a custom up desk design. I'm John P, and it's all on Geek Beat. Let's do this. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lynda.com. So my friend Dave Powell lives in Tokyo, and since he's a photographer, he shoots a lot of Tokyo photos, and coincidentally, he has a website called ShootTokyo.com. He's also got a million and a half followers on Google+, and he's been sharing his beautiful photos for a long time there. So you should follow him on his G Plus stream for sure. But most recently, he launched a new Kickstarter for Shoot Tokyo, the book. Dave went through over 20,000 of his photos and has narrowed it down to his 100 best, and he's making them available as a fine art book. So either check out shoottokyo.com or check the show notes at geekbeat.tv forward slash 842 for the link to his Kickstarter and jump on board. Personally, I ordered the book and the t-shirt. Today, Huawei, currently the world's third largest mobile phone producer, announced a new flagship model called the Ascend P7. First, the good news. The Ascend P7 will take on the Samsung Galaxy S5, HTC One, M8, and Sony Xperia Z2 with its 5 inch 1920 by 1080 display, 4G LTE dual antennas, a high silicon Kirin 910T, 1.8 gigahertz quad core processor, a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, an 8 megapixel front facing camera, and a 5 lenses system and Gorilla Glass 3 housing on front and back. <sighs> Speaking of the back, the Ascent P7 includes a seven layer surface treatment on the back to class it up a bit and a unique heat management system throughout the phone causing it to feel cooler. Plus at 6.5 millimeters, it's slimmer than an iPhone 5S, which is 7.6 millimeters and much thinner than the Galaxy S5 at 8.1 millimeters. But wait, there's more. The pixel density of the screen clocks in at 445 pixels per inch compared to the iPhone's 326 and 432 on the Galaxy S5. And if you're a photographer at heart, the rear facing camera with a 13 megapixel resolution and higher end image processing chip can handle low light at up to ISO 3600. The bad news? Well, good luck finding one in America because Huawei is all but locked out of US carriers. So basically normal humans like us are never gonna see one of these things in the wild. However, in June, European and Asian countries will get it for around 625 bucks. On another note, for only 25 bucks a month, you can get unlimited access to lynda.com where you can learn 3D animation, CAD, photography, video editing, web development, and much more. How much more? Well, try CAD, cameras and gear, car career development, character animation, charts and graphs, classroom management, cloud computing, CMS, collaboration, color correction, communication, compositing, computer skills, construction, content strategy, creative insights, creative inspirations, creative spark. And that's just the C's. Best of all, you can get a free week of unlimited access by going to lynda.com forward slash geekbeat. That's Linda with a Y. You can spend that week watching videos until your eyes bleed. Lynda.com forward slash geekbeat. Free week. You know what to do. Sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. Okay, to wrap things up for today, I really need everyone's help chiming in on something important. You may recall that our friends over at Updesk are sending us a whole building full of their stand-sit motorized desks for the new Geek House. You may also remember me telling you that we, want, we get to customize them however we want. Well, one of the crazy ideas we're toying with is actually screen printing the GeekBeat logo directly on the work surface. So right off the bat, it's gonna be awesome. But now we're faced with a decision and this is where you come in. We can either go with a black tabletop and print the GeekBeat logo in white or even in color or we could go with a whiteboard tabletop surface that you can actually write on 
and screen print the Geek Beat logo in full color on it. So here's the thing. It's not just about what we might want. The custom Geek Beat Edition desks are gonna be made available to everyone. So if you were gonna buy one, what would you get? I set up a two question survey. It's just two questions at geekbeat.tv forward slash desk color. So if you could take like 10 seconds to chime in, it will help a lot. Whatever gets the most votes wins. So we're crowdsourcing our decision here. What do we just do for you? Oh, and remember that little poll we did last week? We got over 450 responses and learned some interesting stuff like it's a tie between your preference to be attacked by a Klingon or the beast from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And 7% of you watch Geek Beat while conducting business in the bathroom. Get some paperwork done. <laughs> oh, and although more than 50% of, of you said you like the current 720p resolution, 42% would prefer 1080p. So we'll work on making that happen. That's it for today's show. Join us tomorrow, that's Friday, for the live show at 3 p.m. Texas time. Thumbs up on YouTube if you enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to vote at geekbeat.tv forward slash desk color. I'm out of here.